Hi guys, my name is Alicia and this is the Runaway Teen Challenge Part 10. So, today um, we're going to just try to get her to the point where she is ready to have her birthday. Because she has like three days left and I haven't been playing on her or any of my gameplays for that matter. And I'm really ready for her to, you know, take the next step for her life, okay? Um... But the reason I haven't been here, well, I've been going through some medical issues, okay? Um, yeah, so I'm not really going to get into that a lot. But that's the reason why I missed a whole week, and I am so sorry. But um, I had some things that I had to take care of. So, what is she eating? Oh, okay, well, she made her something to eat. She made her some fruit. I mean, it's healthy. I still got to get the snow out of the game. I just noticed that. I keep saying, like, okay, Alicia, when I get the chance I'm gonna take the snow I'm gonna take the snow out but I keep forgetting so I definitely have to make a note of that look how she's looking when she's eating that fruit <laughs> is there something wrong with it? it does it just not suit your taste buds because that's what it seemed like don't it <laughs> but um yeah so I definitely want her to save up some money so we can afford maybe a birthday cake or some decorations so we can throw a little bit of a party for her uh, young adult growth that she will be having in about three days because right now all we have is 62 simoleons and we have to eat so it's not really gonna last that long and she has to use the bathroom so we are at magnolia park i just started off from where she was last because i have not played her in a while so this must have been where i had left her um so yeah i had to start off from there and that is why she is here and that's why it started here because you guys probably be like hmm i know most of you guys probably already recognized it but oh my god look how she looking when she eating that fruit like something is spicy or something in the fruit like that's how her face is yes i'm just saying <laughs> i like spicy foods and stuff i stayed up all last night like oh my gosh all last night such a night owl right Okie doke. So we're going to let her use the bathroom and she already ate and everything. So we're going to start trying to collect some uh, collectibles because yeah, definitely. Maybe have her go fishing a little bit and everything. Look for some frogs. We can probably uh, breed. Oh, she already got some fish and stuff too. Hmm. That's interesting. So um, let's see. I'm selling all of these fish and she has some pretty fish too like look at this one what is this called guppy it's really pretty um okay so after selling all the fish wow that fish was 35 dollars for simoleons after selling all of that we have 158 simoleons which is still not quite where i want to be megan gerber hey girl it's ladies night at the bar tonight let's take advantage of the cheap drinks um, of course we cannot do that. <laughs> she is only still a teenager. Um, and I'm pretty sure there are a lot of, um, adults at the bar. Because it is a bar. So, definitely not. But, um, let's see. We got a couple of frogs that we can sell. Because remember, we only keep the rare ones so we can rebreed the rare ones. But the other ones we really don't, um, take into account, I guess you could call it. So let's go ahead and breed this whirly flower frog. Okay, that is so weird. Um, and it's worth 160 simoleons. So we're going to just sell the offspring and so on like that. So I was thinking like, okay. Sorry, if you can hear my dog in the bathroom, background. Bathroom. Oh my God. If you hear my dog in the background, I'm sorry. But what I was thinking like, okay, once she turn into an adult, we're just going to sell everything out of her um, inventory because... When, when she turns to adult, she can get a job. Like, you know, her life becomes somewhat normal. So, um, there's really no need to keep going around collecting unless, you know, we just want to do it for fun, I guess. But, um, yeah, like I said, we're probably going to, after she age up, we might, you know, come back to her once in a while and play a couple of gameplays on her. But I don't really know about, you know, keeping the series going afterwards because it's so much more exciting things that we could be doing once we go because th this is basically a challenge gameplay so it's not an all the way through gameplay like once you finish the challenge you usually just stop right well i know that's the case and i'm going to do so but i do want to come back every now and then and kind of see what her life is like after um growing up into an adult you know but i just don't want to continue on her solely because there's so many other interesting and exciting gameplays that we could be playing um so many challenges that we can be trying so that is my reasoning 
Okay, let's get this a little bit because she's getting kind of sleepy. And actually, we're just going to stop her fishing um, altogether. And she caught, I think this is a goldfish. I, I believe it was. Um, Courtney couldn't catch a frog. They're slippery. Better look next time. Okay, that's like the first time that's ever happened. Courtney is an amazing fisher. Um, she's actually got a skill level of six. Wow. Um, she's an amazing, amazing fisher. And um, she usually catches a lot of frogs. So that's the first time that anything like that has ever happened. Um, so now we're going to harvest some apples. Like, I hope it's, um, some good apples. Because, you know, the better quality, the better, I mean, the more they're worth. Which is why we're currently growing them on our, um, home lot. So she also got some snapdragons, which I sold. The goal, we really don't have a goal for money. We just want to get enough to where maybe we could afford to throw a party, um, and have a, a celebratory birthday cake. Um, and, and stuff like that, you know? She's growing into a grown woman. I am so proud of Courtney. She has come a long way from losing her mother to living on her own, you know, from the whole running away, having no place to stay, and then, you know, to saving up, trying to become a responsible, you know, adult. Um, saving up money. Because, you know, it's, it's kind of difficult for us to change the whole money. I don't know about you guys, but I spend money like that. Like, you know, even I'm, I'm trying to work on it, though. So, you know, so she's been saving her money and spending it on the necessities, like the tent and, and the cooler. And then she even saved enough money to where we uh, actually got to go ahead and start building her a home for herself, you know. So I'm very proud of Courtney. Like, she's come a very long way for this entire um, experience, right? So I couldn't be more um, happy about it. But that is, like, that's why I feel like it's going to be a little hard to say goodbye. But it must be done. Because I swear, there are so many exciting things. I really don't want to say anything because I really don't want to give away, like, what my idea of uh, the next one is going to be. But I do want you guys to go and vote because you, like, your opinion matters to me. Because you guys are the ones who watch it. You are the ones who comment. You are the ones who like it. So, um, your opinion matters a lot to me. So, if you guys could go and to my website prettysims.com and if you go and vote on what you would like to see next that would be amazing okay it kind of you know let me know what you guys are interested in and we can work like that because I feel like I'm gonna end up doing it all anyway in the long run it might take years but you know that's just how it goes I mean when you get invested in sims it's kind of hard to, to stop I don't know about you guys but I've been into sims for years now and like I was hooked like, the first time I held the mouse in my hand and controlled another, not necessarily a human being, but another, like, life form, I guess you could call it, even though it's assimilation, you know? It just, it just addicting, okay? To control somebody else's life when you have no control, you know what I'm saying, over your own. Because, of course, you can't control your own life because of fate and blah, blah, blah. But, you know, like, I'm, okay, I'm just getting deep, right? <laughs> I'm getting all poetic on you guys. But you know what I'm saying, you know? Getting to control somebody's every life. You know, even, but it's even some things and sounds that you can't control. Like, I remember one time I was playing this gameplay. Oh my gosh, I love this family so much. And one night, you know, I, I was making sure that my, um, my female mother, you know, figure character or whatever you want to call her. I can't remember her name. That's why I'm saying it. I made sure she was happy. She took a bath. She ate really good. Everything was going really great. And then all of a sudden she died. And I'm like, what? How? Everything was perfect. You know what I'm saying? And then I found out that you can actually die from emotions on The Sims 4. At first, I didn't know. I think it was like my first time playing The Sims 4. And um, she actually died of, um, what did she die of? Uh, oh, what is it called? It's the, the mood, the emotion after playful, like when you get too, a little too playful, you're too happy or whatever. I can't remember exactly what it's called, but I know what it is. But you guys, you guys know. So, yeah, she actually died from that. And I was like, wow, I had no idea. And then at the time, I didn't know about all this, these cheats they have out now and all that kind of stuff. So, I couldn't get her back, you know. And I was really sad about that. I was so sad about that. But, yeah. So, she also found a mysterious time capsule, okay? It says, it's always fun to open a time capsule and watch glimpses of time pass. Um, I don't know why my notification wall is always getting full. It's going to delete automatically, so that's great. So, she also found a My Sims trophy, trophy and it is Hopper, okay? Um, and she found some pears. So we're doing like pretty good and she's pretty exhausted now. So I think we're going to head home guys because it is 1.35 in the a.m. Okay. 
<laughs> and she's thinking about school, which is really weird. Um, I guess she's one of the types who did actually want an education. Um, as you can see, her grade is not good at all. She is in high school, D student at the moment, and the little um, the little pointing thing. That's what I'm gonna call it because I can't think of what it's called. But the little performance bar is all the way on the red end. So she's really not doing all the grade in school, which is of course like duh, because she's not going um, to school. So, yeah. oh, she got a lot of satisfaction points. Hmm. I think we'll check that out when we get home. What do you guys think? It's not against the rules to buy satisfaction points, is it? I don't believe so. And I would totally get that if she wasn't so tired. Right now, I feel like all she needs to do is go home, maybe take, you know, a shower or bath or whatever, and just kind of get some sleep. But this, you know, the way it looked like when she get home, she's not really going to want to take a shower or a bath, you know? So, that's how it goes. <laughs> um, yeah. So, hopefully this loading screen doesn't take forever. I really should start cutting these out of my videos. Because I do feel like they take um, somewhat of the time. But... I don't know. I just like, sometimes I just like to keep it natural, you know? I don't like to cut this and skip that and do this. I just like to, you know, this is a Sims game. This is what it is, you know? Um, and it's not that long, is it? I mean, it could be longer. I play games where it was longer, you know? So, wow, that light is nowhere where it's supposed to be and neither is that window. And I just noticed that. Like, I put, <laughs> when I put this house together real quick, I just noticed that. Wow, okay. I don't even want the window there in, at this point. Let's see. Maybe we can put another window over here, maybe? Okay. And we can have the this here. And we can put this here. Make sure that's in the middle. And let's actually buy a mirror. Even though I know we're saving up for, um... I know we're saving up for the, um... The party or whatever. But a little mirror is not going to kill us, right? I mean, it'll be really cute. Okay, that's too little. I want something kind of bigger, okay? Okay, that's more like it. That's pretty cute. Um, maybe that's a little too much light. I don't know. But let's try to change the color a little bit. And let's see. It's it's really cute now, okay? I kind of fixed it because it was just really off balance at first. Um, and then, wait, where do you... She got to make the cake, don't she? Because I'm, I'm, sometimes I get confused on a Sims 3 and a Sims 4. Because on Sims 3, you could go and actually buy the cake out of the buy mode but sims 4 you actually have to make the cake yourself so it's, it's a little different um yeah it's a lot different so um yeah so let's continue and it says right here it's almost courtney's birthday and if you hear crying in the background that's my um little cousin yeah i just wanted to mention it i don't want you guys to think like oh she's neglecting her kids because i don't have any okay um that's my little cousin she's somewhat of a crybaby at times when she doesn't get her way i guess she's only two so you know terrible tools i guess um let's see what, what to say oh it's almost over i just read that and then it just didn't register you know how you read something and I don't know like that happens to me a lot like I can read something and it just doesn't get through at the moment but it started getting through a little bit later so um she has to use the bathroom why is everything so hot to her have you guys noticed that what is wrong she ate fruit and now she's eating cake and she feels like everything is so spicy I don't know but I am super excited. She has two days to age up. And I don't think we're going to get to age her up in this part. But definitely, I feel like the next part is going to be the part. Like, I really just want to spend this entire day with this thing on ultra speed. Like, yes. Because, oh my god. She is about, it's just like, you know how a challenge is just coming to the end. And you just kind of feel kind of, um, victorious. Because it's, oh, she scared the crap out of me. No, go home. She found our house. What the heck? See, this is why I hate that little uh, story progression thing they got going on here. I hate it because when you leave, they make friends. Is there a way to, like, turn it off? Because now she feel like we're friends and we're definitely not friends. Um, I don't even think it's a way to turn it off. Is it? Um... It's not. 
but that is so annoying like i'm if you guys know a way if you got a model whatever just let me know because this is totally annoying like wow but i'm about to lock it that way um she can't I don't want Courtney to go outside and meet her or whatever. I don't know. I just don't want it to happen, okay? But, yeah, that is very strange. And the fact that she made friends with a few adults while I want to add I was not here, like, while I was playing a different gameplay, is not my fault. And I'm not considering that anything to do with this challenge, okay? Because that is just, I don't like that. I want to turn it off, but there is no off as far as I know of. So maybe I can look into kind of, you know, because that is, it's just super annoying. Like you come back and they're not where they, you left them. You know, they made friends. They walk around and they're in your other Sims gameplays all the time. Like it's okay some of the time, but all of the time. I just, I can't take it. I can't. It's, it's super annoying to me. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Some people probably actually like it, but I just, I feel like it's annoying. Because it feels like somebody's been playing on them when I haven't, you know? Um, and she definitely needs some social, but we cannot talk to any adults. I don't even think she has not one teen friend in here except Bobby. If Bobby's still a teen. I think she's a teen, yeah, because she has two traits. So, um... But how many traits? Oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Um, except Bobby. So maybe we'll call and um, talk to Bobby and kind of cure that okay yes yeah, she left okay good so our cow plant still didn't grow yet um turn lock off um our cow plant still didn't grow yet and i'm kind of upset about that let's go ahead and water all of these plants and harvest them i totally forgot all about our plants but this cow plant it's like it doesn't need to do anything i guess it just needs to be talked to but it needs to hurry up and grow. I would like to see this plant grow before, um, you know, her birthday. Because, you know, once her birthday is over and stuff, we're not going to play her as much as we used to. Um, so I wish it would kind of hurry up. Okay, let's skip along because she's on the phone chatting it up with Bobby. Okay, now she's going to water the delicious plant. Look how good those strawberries look. <laughs> they're round, though. and they're, I don't think they're really supposed to be round. But, yeah. So we've got some nice strawberry bushes. Does these need to be watered? Yeah, they do. Nothing needs to be weeded though. I don't know, I shouldn't water all of it. It's kind of weird, but sure. So we're gonna have her talk to the cow plant because I need it to grow, like grow. Why won't you grow? Let me get a picture of this. Why won't you grow? We can do a before and after photo if it ever grows, you know? Come on, grow. Hmm, it's normal. I mean, maybe we need to fertilize it, but I don't really want to. <laughs> oh my gosh, who are you? Oh, see what I'm saying? This is super normal. Oh, it grew. Oh my God, it grew. <laughs> wow, just by talking to it. I didn't think it was going to grow in this part. Oh my gosh, I can't believe that. Let me get the after pic, because I was just talking about the before and after photo. Wow. So this is our cow plant, guys. Look at it. Look at how scary it looks. Oh my gosh. Wow. So we definitely have to feed it, because I don't want to play with it, and it's hungry. Like, it's going to eat you. I don't know. So we definitely got to feed it. Um, let's see. Wouldn't it be messed up if, like, just as we're about to complete this challenge, the cow plant kind of eats, um, Courtney? Wouldn't that be kind of messed up? I just thought about that. You probably would be like, wow, Alicia, why are you thinking so much? Why are you, th why are you thinking of, uh, you know, so much messed up things, I guess you could say. I don't know if I worded that right. I don't know. But, you know, and I'm just like, well, I don't know. My mind just kind of works that way. But it wouldn't it be really messed up if she just got eaten by this cow plant? <laughs> and we're so close. Oh, uh, we definitely have to get a photo of this. Let's put the house up so it can look a little bit more realistic. Definitely have to get a photo of this. Let's do... Let me see. Do we need to do that? I don't think we need to do that. Let's do... Effects... Off. Okay. Um, And what that is, is it's just a little cheat that helps me hide... 
um, the headline effects, which is it could be like thought bubbles, dream bubbles, the diamond, of course, as you just saw. You know, things like that. Okie doke. So she's fitting the cow plant. I definitely had to get a photo of that because that's, that's really like the first time we ever fed our cow plant. I wonder what she's feeding it. It's just like a little package. She didn't feed it. No. She didn't give it anything. I'm scared. Let's go in the house. <laughs> she teased it. Are you serious? What? She had a death wish or something? I, I thought they really give. I thought they throw it to them in the end. Okay, let's try one more time. Cause she's kind of scaring me. Either it's not hungry. I think it's hungry though. Cause if it's not, don't it turn his head or something? But we need to feed it. Cause I like don't she throw the package in his mouth and it eats it? At this point, she's just teasing it. Give it to it. Give it to it. Oh, he don't want it. That's what happened. Okay. I was about to say. We're definitely not playing with that thing, though. Because I don't want to play with it. Um, yes, call me a little cowardly. But we're just so close to the end that I feel like it'll be awful if she gets eaten. You know? And she got some strawberries from our little strawberry plant. And, oh, that's some money right there. Yes. And how much are these worth? Okay. We're at a thousand. That is great. That is so great. Can we breed our frogs today? Um, let's see. Okay, let's go ahead and sell one. Call us a bro a bro. <laughs> That's a mixture of breed and frog, guys. Call us a frog breeder is what I was about to say, but I ended up just saying call us a brog. So, yeah, I guess we're brogs now. I don't know. <laughs> um, let's kind of hurry this along. Like I said, I'm super excited. Um, tomorrow, I think it's just one day left to her B-Day. Is it? Is it one day? I think it's one day. Let me see. Yeah, tomorrow, it's just one day left tomorrow, and I'm just, like, so excited. Okay. Um, she's been playing this game for hours, so we're gonna stop because she is quite hungry and I'm just gonna have her eat some leftovers, some leftover cake at this point because we need to like get that cake out of here because I mean, she's about to get another cake in a couple of days. So it just would be crazy. This is the cake that she had gotten for Christmas, our little Christmas. Why is she back? Oh my gosh. You are annoying. Ah, Megan. I think that's her name. Anyway, like I was saying, if I was rudely interrupted by our new stalker, <laughs> um, but no, for real, um, yeah, she had this cake for Christmas. Why does she keep doing that? Everything is so spicy to her. Where are your taste buds, that girl? Because I don't think cake is spicy, unless it's a spicy cake, but this is just a plain old chocolate cake, I believe. Um, hurry up. I want to kind of dig over here at this little rock right here because I just seen it. It was just looking at me out of the window, so I thought we should pick it up really quickly. And maybe have her fish a little bit. No, stop playing with that thing, girl. I'm scared. Ain't you scared? <laughs> um, she found a play thing. Well, you guys, you guys see, like, you know, <laughs> I can't pronounce that. You guys see what it is, okay? So that's what she found. Um, definitely you know i went fishing before i don't like i like it but i don't like it i don't like it because i'm not the most patient person and it's like you have to sit there and you can't be like moving your rail around a lot you have to sit it down but i'd be terrified to sit mine down because i feel like if i sit it down something's gonna pull it and it's gonna go under the water like that's my biggest fear like it's something big and i could just pull it up but i set it down so it just got tugged i don't know i don't know but me and fishing, I don't really think we mix that well. Like, I sit up there and I wait. I be patient for a couple minutes and I get bored, you know? And then the worms. I mean, I'm not afraid of worms. Not put them on the hook and everything. But I feel like I always poke myself with the hook. And just picking up worms after that is just disgusting. I don't know. I'm just not a fisher, I guess. But it's, it's cool, you know? I just, I don't think I'm good at it. Like, I had got a bite on mine and then I caught myself pulling it up. And I guess... I don't know, I did it too fast, I did it slow, whatever the case may be, it snapped the line. So, that was that. <laughs> you guys are hearing all my stories, you're probably like, wow. Just, wow. I know, I know. So look at all these fish in the ocean today, but it don't look like she's catching anything, does it? 
and it's becoming nighttime. So yes, definitely the next time you play, she'll have one more day in. Um, no, Megan, leave me alone. God, she is just such a bother at this point. And she caught an apple. Wow. Um, but what was I saying? Yeah, so hopefully next time when we come and play this um, gameplay, she'll definitely have one day left. Which means we'll get to have her birthday and maybe, I'm hoping, the next gameplay. Because I'm super excited. Like, yes, and we can't even... We can um we can even invite her adult friends at that point because right because she's about to be I don't know because that might you know that might be breaking some type of rules so I, I'll just wait until she's an official adult and maybe I don't know maybe we'll go from there you know but I'm not about to you know push my luck and you know mm, you know um we definitely have to get those apples off of the tree I just noticed that. We don't have a lot of time left in this gameplay. We actually have really no time left in this gameplay. But she woke up at about 4.31 in the a.m. I'm gonna have her, like I said, eat some cake. I'm trying to get that cake out of here, you guys. Like, I just, I just want it gone. Um, but look at all these apples and then our apple tree. Definitely have to evolve it. So what is it now? Like, what is our apple tree? What's the quality? You're not gonna tell me? You're not gonna tell me? You're just not gonna tell me? Okay, so that's my alarm letting me know, like, okay, Alicia, 25 minutes have passed. Because I try to make these videos 25 minutes um, a piece. But sometimes, as you guys probably already know, they go up to 30 and such, such like that. Because not only my intro and the outro, but, you know, just me talking. And sometimes I lengthen the gameplay just because I'd be like, I don't want to end it right now, you know. So that's just me, though. Um, anyway, thank you guys so much. So very much for watching this. I know you guys are super psyched for Courtney's big birthday bash, even though it's probably not going to be a big bash at all. But I'm excited, so I know you guys are excited. So make sure to comment, like, and subscribe if you liked this video. Sorry it was so extremely late. Um, and I haven't even been on social media. Like, I've just been, you know, so in my own personal problems. I'm sorry. But yeah, so let me know if you liked this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to share, guys. Share it to your friends. Share it to your coworkers. Share it to your enemies. Just share. I'm just saying, like, just share. Okay? Just share. But thank you guys so much. Okay? Until next time. Bye!